Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Oracle Database Administration Workshop. So we have seen so many models so far. Uh, we have started with the uh, you know, architecture of database, ASM, and we started with the uh, database, uh, ASM installation, database installation, and also we have seen uh, different tools of your database management. Also, we have seen basic administration tasks of your database and ASM instance. And now we come to the, uh, one of the most critical activity that is start off and shutdown sequence because start off and shutdown sequence is one of the most critical activities. You know, we often do, uh, you know, maintenance activities at my database, right? We will shut down for database for maintenance activities or the patching or the bug fix or you know, so many things. So, you know, one DBA has to understand how my startup and shutdown sequence works and what are the dependencies on uh, my standalone and rack database on each of the modes, each of the states of my database, right? So just to explain about uh, on those concepts, I'll just uh, proceed here. Uh, irrespective of whatever database it is, whether it's standalone or rack, the database will be having these many uh, modes, shutdown state to no mount, and no mount to mount, and mount to open. Uh, your database is a shutdown, and to go to the no mount, that is called instance started, and to go from no shutdown to no mount, you need a SP file. If you don't have SP file, it look for a P file, and if you don't have a p file and it look for a dummy init file, if you don't have any dummy init file and then your database will not go to the no mode. And suppose I got a sp file or a p file or init file, my database will go to the no mount state. And from the no mount to the mount, I want to go that time, what it will do, it needs a control file. It reads a control file and then my instance will go to the mount mode. It needs a control file and that control file location will be given into inside my init file and it will look go to that location it will check for the control file if control file available and my instance will read that control file and it will go to the mount state and suppose if i don't find control file my database or instance will not go to the mount mode it will be in the no mount mode okay suppose i got my control file and i took my database to mount state and from the mount to open mode mount mode to open mode my database to my database to go to no more sorry mount to open mode it will it needs all the data files and read log files it reads all the data files and read log files and it opens all the data files and read logs and it will go to the open state and how my database or how my instance know the data file and read log files it will be inside my control file control file as i already explained control file is a binary file or it's a heart of my database it has all the information related to data file control file sorry data files and read log files and system change number scn number and the database startup sequence and incarnation and you know so many things it's a heart of my database it has everything and it's a binary file nobody can read that one and nobody can edit that one. So it will read by reading that control file content, my database will go to the open mode by reading all the data files and read log files. All the data files and read log files will be opened here. So this is the typically uh, startup sequence. And then uh, you know, now we will go to the lab exercise. Uh, what we can do here, I already have my database up and running here. What I will do, what I will do, I'll shut down my database dot or INV ORCL SQL plus slash assist DBA. I will do shut immediate and then we'll start with all this mount. I will just start with the SQL plus utility and there's the SRC tail utility for your Oracle restart or rack. You can use of this SRC tail start database hyphen O mount no mount mount open whatever you can do it here. I will just start with this this particular Okay, so database is dismounted. You can see database closed, database dismounted, and instance shutdown. This is shutdown sequence. We'll explain that shutdown sequence in a while. If I do PSI-EF grep smount, I don't see that ORCL. You can see only ASM I can see ORCL is no more. I'll connect back to my SQL plus. You see, I, the moment I did SQL plus, it says connected to ideal instance because nothing is running here. So now I'll do startup no mount. It will just start startup no mount. It will just start my database. Instance will be start memory and you can see memory allocated background process started. Now I'll do alter database mount. So if I do select instance underscore name 
comma status <coughs> from v dollar instance you can see database is instance is just started i'll do alter database mount it will go from no mount to mount i did alter database mount see database is altered if i run the same command here or cell mounted it is in mount mode now okay now alter database open see database altered if i run the same query again database is in open so it went from mount to open mode it read all the control files so that's it about all this the three sequences or else if you just do startup it will do all the way it will start my database if you want if you don't want to do all these three steps you just connect to sql plus and do just start up it will start and then using sctl also you can do all this startup sequence and using vm also you can do all this startup sequence so this is about startup and now the quiz time database to go from no mount to mount mode which file are needed just think of it is no mount to mount mode which file is needed sp file p file control file data file right so sp file and p file from no mount to like from shutdown to no mount mode from no mount to mount mode we need a control file and from mount to open mode we need a data file right so the answer is control file okay shutdown sequence so if you talk about shutdown uh, uh, shutdown there are like about shutdown immediate shutdown transactional shutdown normal so what are these you can see a stands for about i stand for immediate t stands for transactional and n for normal so what happens if you do shutdown normal if you do shutdown normal it will do all this it will force the checkpoint to close the file so yes waits until the current transaction to end yes wait until current session to end right and then allow new connection if you do shutdown normal it will not allow any new connection but it will wait forever it will wait forever to all the users to disconnect if the users are not disconnected by themselves your database will not go down right that is the uh, thing about normal you never use a normal for the shutdown of your database because you have to wait for days together because if users are not disconnecting your shared database will not go down if you use shutdown transactional what happens it will not allow new connection and it will it will wait until user session ends no it will it will just it will it will uh, you know uh, try to uh, kill all the user sessions and you know what happen transaction it will wait for all the current running transaction to complete as soon as the transaction complete it will disconnect that user session but suppose if you are if the transaction whatever you ran if it is running for almo if it is a transaction big transaction and supposed to run for 10 hours your database has to wait for 10 hours to complete that transaction once that transaction completes then that will disconnect that user session so that is also not advisable to use this transaction and it will it will force the checkpoints that's also fine and shutdown immediate what happens it will not allow any new connection and it will wait for user session to end no it will forcefully ends all the user session and it will wait for the current transaction to end no it will not wait it will immediately cancel the transactions whatever the running transactions and it will force the checkpoint so best option is use always use shutdown immediate when you are shutting down your database because it will force the checkpoints and it will not wait for any transaction to complete it will cancels all the transactions it will not wait for all the user session to disconnect it will force and it will disconnect all the user session and it will not allow any user transaction any user new connections right this is the advisable always use shutdown immediate and shutdown about never ever use shutdown about because it will not allow any new connection it will not wait for you know session to end it will not wait for transaction to end it will not do a checkpoint your all data files and control files are inconsistent so when you start your database it will go for instance recovery so this is very very uh, you know uh, 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 disaster it is very uh, 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 you know this this command you never use it because this is a disaster command and your database may crash and you know your database will be inconsistent state and when you start your database it will go for recovery right so you can see shutdown option during shutdown normal shutdown transactional and shutdown immediate and it will do uncommitted changes rolled back and for immediate 
data file buffer cache return to data file resource are released and data file database will be in consistent state and then in while instance startup it no need of any recovery during shutdown about our instance failover or setup startup ports if you do shutdown about modified buffer cache not written to data file uncommitted changes are not rolled back in like your database will be in consistent state when you start your database it will go for online read log file used for reapply the changes undo segments used for rollback or uncommitted changes and resource are released so it will go for instance recovery when you do the shutdown abort so this is the difference between these three immediate sorry uh, this normal transactional immediate this does not need any instance recovery if you do shutdown abort it needs instance recovery right let's do the shutdown transactional and shutdown immediate and shutdown and shutdown abort so all are all, like all are same so my database is open now i'll just do the shutdown or uh, shutdown immediate is the preferred one you can all all will do the same thing you can you can prefer anything you want but shutdown immediate is the best recommended always use shutdown immediate don't use transactional don't use normal and uh, you know don't use abort right again srs utility so you can use for the practice and uh, you can again shut down your database using vm that is also advisable like let's talk about the dictionary views okay we have a uh, dictionary views hierarchy db underscore all underscore user underscore so my database is shut down now i'll do startup again the moment i do startup it will all the way it will do uh, uh, no mount to mount and sorry shut down to no mount and no mount to mount mount to open will do the all the, the all the things okay so i will do what is the difference between all so user is a minimal so only the user who has logged in he is able to see a uh, object belongs to him and uh, he, 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 you know who can query everyone can query this users and everything that user owns whatever he user owns he can able to see that all underscore views and you know as usual right like all means it's one step above the user he can do who can query everyone and what is the content everything that the user has the privilege to see not necessarily under his own own objects he, for any one object if he has a privilege he can see it and uh, you know a dba is a master view and it has everything uh, you know under dba you can see all under all you can see users and it is it is not subject it user is a subset of all views all is a subset of dba views a dba is a master it's not subset it's a master view so i'll just give you a quick example on that uh, you know select name and table like like I'll, i'll just query this particular so user tables i will just uh, okay i'll just do this one okay so fine i said a lot of things so i'll connect as a hr slash hr right so i'll run this one now okay do set pages 1000 set lines 1000 okay if i do this one okay if i do this one i connect show user show user if i do show user uh, hr user hr user has a reason countries location department jobs employee job history these are the five tables he used query called user underscore tables hr is a user he can able to see only tables belongs to him right so if i use um all sequence or all tables if i do uh, select name table space from all underscore tables i think it will fail because okay no it will not fail okay so all underscore tables if i do all underscore table he can able to see a few of the tables which are uh, he has access you can see table privilege map and you know this this are some of the Uh, core tables and these are like his own tables reason location department jobs job history and then some of the uh, uh, you know uh, like the, the whatever the object he has he can able to see it uh, that is about all underscore tables and if you go with the dba there's a last one more dba underscore tables right so i'll just query the same thing select table from dba underscore tables you can see he don't have access for that so for that i need to connect as a 
sysdba and then if i run this particular query i will be able to see everything okay so select is missed here thousands of tables i can list out right 2000 tables and okay so now if i do table name where where table name where table name equal to i can give that particular table which this particular user belongs to right table name is equal to employees right table name equal to employees right so employees i can able to see it show user i am a sys user see i am able to see the employee table so what that mean is dba underscore view is a dictionary view that is a master view and who can queries only dba can query sys user is a dba he can query and it contain everything it contain all underscore views it contain user underscore view, whatever sub queries everything it has but it is not a subset of anything it's a master view and uh, only few uh, per dedicated uh, users have this dba role and all is the one uh, who can query anyone everyone can query that one but you know whatever he has privileges only those object he can able to see this all underscore view is a subset of db underscore view and then only a few of the individuals who have access they can query that one and the lower privileges user underscore who can query this one everyone can query that one who what all object he can see all the object which belongs to that users and all all underscore is the view and it is it is uh, individual to that particular user so these are the three hierarchy all users users all and dba and these are three examples and uh, now the quiz time which data dictionary view can be used to find the name of all the tables in a database all the tables in a database any underscore table db underscore table all underscore tables and user underscore table so answer is you can see user underscore table all underscore table and db underscore table there is nothing called any underscore table right so answer is db underscore table if you have a db a privilege if you run the db underscore tables you will see all the tables available in the database uh, user is only belongs to that particular user all is the only uh, which has a privileges to the table all underscore table db underscore table uh, db underscore table has a, is a master table like if if dba can run all underscore table okay if i do we will we'll verify that one if i do dba uh, all underscore table if dba can run we'll find the answer here itself select table name table space from all underscore table see 2115 if i do the same thing with dba underscore table right db underscore tables see 2115 so all underscore table and db underscore table are both are the answers but uh, the highest precedence goes to db underscore table because all underscore table uh, you know can if normal user runs it will not be list all the tables if the db underscore tables has run by dba it will give all the tables or dba can run all underscore tables even that also give the all the list of tables so answer is all underscore tables or db underscore tables both configuring okay so that's about uh, uh, you know uh, your shutdown and start of sequence and you know uh, your uh, dba views uh, dictionary views so that's it for the today session we'll start the network configuration in a in a next session thank you guys